grade are you guys in? So six, 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 fifth, okay. Early, early, okay. So what, about 11, 12, yeah. 13, tell me up. Okay, yeah. cool. So I had a friend, he was 12 years old, really big kid. He was kind of kind of chubby, a little bit bigger than me. You know, I'm, I'm much slimmer now than what I used to be. But I was, I was a big kid, man, real strong. I used to love the game. I love to play sports. All right, I thought I was the best, best at every sport that I played, basketball, football, soccer, baseball. Baseball was my favorite sport, but basketball was just where it was at as far as my skills, right? So my friend, growing up, you know, he just used to get in a lot of trouble. He was in school, but, you know, he didn't really have no desire to be there. And I'm like, man, you know what? You need to get away from your other friends, man. They take you the wrong way. I, I love sports. I think that was something that kept us out of the streets a lot of the time. It kept me out of the streets for sure. And I love, I love school. That's one of the main places that you can meet, you know, new friends. I know a lot of you aren't, you know, acquainted as much, but some of you got friends that you actually met in school, right? Some of you, that's, that's what you desire to do, right? Okay, so do you, do you try to get to the gym as much as you can? Yes. They make it a priority for you to come to school, right? You got to make it a priority for you to get to where you want to be in life. That's called taking it in, in control of your, of, your, of your faith, right? That's a faith master. That's why Mason designed this organization or designed this, this program for you guys to understand what it is that you want to do. You can have a seat, fellas. I appreciate it. All right, so my friend, he decided his fate when we were going into high school. We're getting ready to be freshmen now. This guy's a beast. He's bigger than me. He's taller than me right now. He's about 6'5", 260 pounds. You know where he gained all that weight? In prison. In prison. I didn't see my friend for five years until I went to Georgetown. It was unfortunate. This, this kid had a bright future. I was looking forward to it for him. You know, when you, you know, all of you got best friends or a friend that's doing well, or they're trying to do something, they want to accomplish something, right? So when I saw him, I'm like, moving everything at the college level that I want to be, you know, it's time for the NBA. I'm ready to go. You know, I'm going and working out for teams and doing all this stuff. And, you know, I talked to my parents about it. A lot of your parents, their, their opinion matters, right? So you ask them for guidance. You ask them for structure. You ask them for help. You know, my, my mom, she's like, you know what? No, I don't, I don't think you're ready. I think you gotta come back for a year. You know what, graduate, get that paper, use that education for what it was. If I didn't graduate, who knows where I would be, right? Okay, so I got my education. I came back, you know, we had a rough season, whatever, man. I got, I got my degree, I still got that paper, I'ma hold it high. I got what I was there for, right? Right? A lot of y'all, you know, NBA, trust me, the NBA will be over soon. You only gonna last so long in there. It's a lot of, a lot of beat up on your body, a lot of wear and tear. But you, you gonna appreciate it for being there, right? So I come back, I graduate, we go to the draft. You know, it's draft day. Everybody's excited, you know, got your family around, you look 